Maintenance therapy has significantly improved outcomes for myeloma patients. If there's one single contribution that we have made in the last five years to myeloma treatment data from the UK, and that's been the Myeloma 11 study led by Graham Jackson et al. And that showed over a thousand patients when they were randomized to lenalidomide maintenance, they got an improved progression-free survival and overall survival. And over the last year, NICE has approved use of lenalidomide maintenance for our patients and is now reimbursed and patients are now routinely after stem cell transplant being offered lenalidomide maintenance and this keeps their myeloma under control for longer periods of time. So we're clearly excited. But we know that there are some patients who tend not to get durable remissions with lenalidomide maintenance and these are patients with high-risk disease and therefore we need to find combination treatments with the lenalidomide to maintain their myeloma disease control. And this is part of what we're trying to do in the RADAR study, the 1,400 patient study, where we're gonna try and see if patients are MRD positive, whether you can combine drugs to lenalidomide to try and give them a more durable remission period. So really, I think we have to wait and see over the next two years as to whether we can do that.